Hi there. Today I'm going to make corned beef stromboli in honor of St. Patrick's Day. It's a nice little recipe to get some corned beef in your uh, diet for the for the holiday. Um, these are the ingredients. I'm doing a real quick version here. I'm going to use canned items to get it uh, real done real quickly. Spinach that's already cut. Uh, sliced potatoes. A can of corned beef and two Pillsbury pizza crusts. I'm going to get all this stuff ready and I'll show you how to do it. Pop and fresh. We're going to take the two pizza crusts and put them together so that they just about fill this giant size cookie sheet. Put these together and make a seam out of them. Pinch it, pinch it close so that nothing cooks out. And I'm gonna just spread it out enough to um, put the filling in the middle, and then we're gonna cut some slits in the sides to make um, like a braid out of this bread pizza dough. I'm uh, lining this pan with parchment paper so I can bake right on it and nothing sticks as we work on this. All right, now this, the uh, sides of the pizza crust are all cut so that we can do like an easy braid after this gets filled. We're gonna start out with this corned beef. I don't know if you ever worked with it this way, but we're gonna make some slices out of this. Use a very sharp knife because it has a tendency to crumble. Take the sliced corned beef and just uh, spread it out here on the pizza crust. Okay. And then we're going to top that with some spinach. Now, uh, whether you have frozen spinach or spinach out of the can, always squeeze it out, get as much liquid out of it as possible. And then we're just gonna top it on the uh, corned beef. Just so that every bite has some in it. This is nice and soft when it's already cooked and in the can. It's easy to work with. Okay, then the next item, we're going to take the sliced potatoes. Again, if you have your own potatoes left over from a meal, that's a great thing that you can use. However, to make this recipe quickly, you can just open a can of sliced tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> The other ingredient I'm going to add here, you can do this if you like too, is I'm going to add some Swiss cheese. This makes it almost like a Reuben. Okay, take the, um, the side pieces of dough and we're just going to make nice little uh, folds over top of it. It gives you the appearance of a braided bread. I always close it off at the end and pinch it shut. We're just going to go right down, right down the pizza here. I bet you never ate a Reuben pizza before, or even a Reuben stromboli. But corned beef is nice and salty, and I think you'll enjoy this. So crisscross applesauce. We got the whole thing wrapped up here like a mummy. And at the end, again, make sure the last strip pinches the end shut because the cheese and everything will cook out if you don't seal it. Then just take the loose edges all the way down, tuck them under, 
and everything will bake nice and tight then. Any place you see an opening, just give it a pat. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven, 350 degrees for 20 minutes, and I'll show you when it comes out. Let's take a look. Timer went off and smells good in here. Wow, nice braided Irish meal here. Let's get this out on the table and let it cool off. Let's let this sit for five minutes before we cut it. The cheese will set up a little better that way. And then we'll have a taste test here. I'm gonna uh, cut the, the uh, stromboli in half here and see what it looks like inside. Show you what that looks like. Oh, it smells really good. It's still pretty hot though. So you can see all the things that we layered in there. Doesn't that look delicious? And I'm gonna cut a couple slices here. It's a lot to cut through. Nice and crusty. Let's serve that. We'll see if Rick's around if he'd like to take a taste of it. Yum yum. Take a taste. Mmm. Corned beef, I like it. It's hot. Woo! Tail. Tail. Mmm. All right, try this for St. Patrick's Day. Easy meal. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. See ya.